Hey guys, it's me Tara. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you know what, or even a little bit of time, you know that the people I admire most are British. Whether that be singers, actors, people in general, good looking men that are British. Anyways, I know the chances are slim, but they're never zero. What if when I'm walking on the street one day, Harry approaches me, and I can't be myself? No! I was raised in the valley. I'm a valley girl. I need to have some sort of idea of what to do to pick up a British guy. I thought to myself, what better way to learn than a Brit himself? Now what? Here I am. I'm the British guy that Tara was talking about. Yes, she's flown me here to LA to help her. And uh, I'm sorry I'm not Harry Styles, but I'm gonna have to do. Where were you born? London. You were born in London. Central London. I got popped out. In the middle of London? Outside of Big Ben. God bless. Right. The first thing Anderson's gonna teach me is slang. Yes, if, especially if you're trying to pull a geezer. This, these are some of the words you're gonna, I've, I've like tailored them to try to pull a geese, basically. It means a bloke, basically. I still don't know what that means. A bloke. Yeah. A man. All my mates are geezers. Okay. That's what we say. We say, oh, that geezer over there. Like, it's just, it's a nice term. It means a guy. Bloke also means a guy. It doesn't mean an old guy. Because every time I say geezer here, they're like, that means old man. One thing that a lot of boys and girls say is something I say all the time as well, is what you're saying. What are you saying? What you saying. What are you saying? Everyone, everyone, including close friends, everyone understands it now because they're used to me. However, a lot of people are like, uh -huh. and if, if, if a geezer comes up to you and he goes, what are you saying, girl? You're going to be like, it means what's up. No, does it? Like, it means how are you, you doing? To? How are you doing? What you saying? What you saying? It's got to be quicker than that, though. What you saying? What Do you girls saying? say it too? More of a guy thing. The word fancy. Fancy means like into you. I know that one. Yeah, and what would I reply? Oh, do you now? Probably. <laughs> okay, got it. Well, I don't know. What, what, well, what, I need what, to what know. What would you say? What would you say? I fancy you. Tara, colon. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know. Gone. Walking away. Group of guys. You're standing there like this. Whatever you do in the club. I don't know what you do in the club. What do I do in the club? I don't I know. Guess. Is there a video that we can roll of you in a club or at a party? Yeah. Now, let's say Tara's doing that, right? And there's a group of guys next to her, and they go, she's a ting. Tara overhears it. A what? A ting. Like T-I-N-G? Yeah. Ting. A ting. That's a good thing. But a ting basically means like, she's a sort. A sort? Yeah. What does that mean? I'm gonna be all day! <laughs> that's a really British term. A sort? More British than ting. Well, that's why I don't understand it. She's a sort, essentially, is what someone would say. She's a sort. It means like she's a, she's, she's cute. All right, now this is, this is important. Okay. If someone said, I'm pissed, or are you pissed? You'd be like, no, I'm okay. Why, you think I'm angry? Like, no, it means drunk. In the oh, I do know what that means, I do know that. Okay. Because like, oh, because people say, oh, I'm pissed drunk. I suppose that concludes terms Got that it. you'd need to know when pulling at a British geese. I could go on forever and talk about tea and crumpets and that ain't gonna matter when you're on a dance floor opposite Harry Styles and he's standing there. Oh my god, stop. You literally saying that made my heart fall to my asshole. I think I got it. I think I got in it, geezer. Mm -hmm. Are you pissed? Yeah. You're a ting. You. I fancy you. I yeah. love that one. That's my favorite. Well, that's probably something Harry would say, huh? Oh my god, stop. I would literally die. I fancy you. That, that was pretty that's good, actually. Yeah, he does. Too. I work in a bakery. That was really good. Yeah. Well, I mean, I am British, but. Right, that helps. Anderson, I think I have really good style, but I think I'm gonna overthink the situation and I would wear something like this. Cause I want it to be obvious. Where did you even find that? <laughs> did you make this? No, but I did make this one. Just in case you didn't like the first one. Just in case, you know, they're not into t-shirts. I also have a tank top. It's it shows that I'm crafty. Oh my goodness. I feel like something like this would work better because it's like the Beatles. I'll be honest with you, I don't think I've seen <laughs> this anyone. This is from the UK. What? Yeah, Jake got it for me. I'm sorry, Jake, but I don't think I've seen anyone in the UK wear that. So you prefer this one? I do like this one because okay. it's funny. Get straight to the point. Do you want to actually hear what some people in Britain dress though? First of all, huge trend. Everybody and their uncle has a North Face puffer jacket paired with... 
all white Air Forces. I also. honestly think I do okay in the UK with fashion. Yes, 100%. That concludes the how to dress segment. Um, and they are done. You guys just missed us literally drive across the curb. I just went over a little tiny curb and it was the end a of the world. A little tiny. I nearly made this convertible. Yeah. We're in line at a Starbucks drive thru. I know you don't like Starbucks, I hate but. Starbucks. We needed to have the tea. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. Okay, get started for you. Hi, what kind of teas do you guys have? I have a cup of tea. Uh, depends. Are we looking for hot or iced tea? Cock. Hot. Say, can I have a cup of I have. Can I please get a tall Earl Grey? Okay, we got tea. Mm -hmm. Not really a tea drinker, to be fair. I only drink it when I'm dunking biscuits into it. What kind of biscuits? Rich teas or digestives. Digestives? It's a biscuit. Does that help you go to the bathroom? No. Bloody hell. Digestive. No. Digestive is a is a nice crunchy standard plain biscuit, which you can have with either milk or dark chocolate on top. I opt for the dark ones. I think dark chocolate tastes like old people. What? So try it. It's pretty coffee-ish. Yeah. You want to hate it and you don't. That's the thing with you. Like, what's good coffee to you if you had to drink coffee? No coffee. Don't drink coffee. I only like coffee when it's in a chocolate bar. Eating. This is the next category. British classic. Obviously, fish and chips, right? I love fish and chips. Yeah, fish and chips is I... slapping, but only by the coast. So... What, what kind of sauce do you like with your fish and chips? I, I dead the sauce off, bro. Like, maybe ketchup. I ain't trying to have tartar bollocks. That, that tastes like Mushy peas, dead them off as well. What's that? Peas that are mushed. Peas? Imagine guacamole but with peas instead. What? That and, sounds... and no flavor. Fish fingers. Oh, you were telling me about this. You have to tell everyone this. Fish fingers, yeah, in a sandwich. Fish finger sandwich with a bit of ketchup. Best meal you can actually eat. So good. What about beans? You guys have that for breakfast, right? No, no, no. Dead beans. I don't eat beans. Why? They taint your fry up. Basically. I don't know what that means. Fry you're using up. these, you're oh, using yo. these sentences and I'm right, like, so what does taint your fry mean? A taint is like your butthole to your well, cooter. You're... A fry up is sausage, bacon, hash brown, egg, beans, black pudding, mushrooms. What's a black pudding? Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to a learn here. A black pudding is, 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 no, no, no. is dried pig's blood. Hold up. Are you joking? I'm not joking. I have something I need to tell you. Yeah, hit me. Every time I think about how you guys pay, I think about you guys carrying weights around and you're like, here's three pounds. <laughs> if I go to London, will you show me places that yeah. I won't be disappointed? I can't pro make any promises about you being disappointed or not, so. I don't think I'll be disappointed. Guys. We'll see. Look, I'm not trying, I'm not hating on London, all right, but it is, uh, it's great. Full of boys that are just all like characters. <laughs> Am I right? Everyone from the UK, every Woo! boy is like Harry Styles, right? <laughs> Wrong! She's gonna love it. I mean, I hope I helped. And listening to your accent for 10 minutes has been amazing, I'm sure, for the viewers. <laughs> okay, guys, Woo! thank you so much for watching while Anderson taught me a little bit on how to pick up. I thought, wait, I thought I was gonna get a test at the end and then. Oh, do you want a test? Actually, you can do a Snapchat video into my group of British boys. If they reply something PG, I'll put it up on screen. Just say, hey guys, do any of you fancy me? <laughs> no, because I'm scared do it, they're going to think I'm it. some kind of poser. Just This is a vid I'm filming. I'm teaching Tara over here how to pick up British boys. I've taught her some lessons and <clears> this <throat> is essentially a test um, to see if I've done well. Okay. First of all. First of all. T-shirt. T-shirt. Secondly, I... Something in it. Oh, fancy. no. Right. I just... Do you guys fancy me? Terrible lighting. I mean, they're oh, going to be like, oh, no, oh, I don't fancy right. we'll, her. We'll see. I freeze in front of the British look, man. Look, look, look. Get ready. No, I'm embarrassed. It's sending. I freeze in front of the British man. You did just freeze, so don't do that. Well, too late. That was my test. It's <clears> sending. <throat> okay, I think, I think I could do a little better. Ready? Okay, go. Okay. Test number two. Part two, she froze. Um, so. You're doing it again. I know oh I'm doing it. What? God. Something about a ting. <laughs> am I a ting? Uh, am I a ting? Well, no, they're going to be like, no, mate, she's not, she's struggling. Oh, no. We've got two videos in there and we are waiting for a reply. It is 3 a.m. So you guys will find out first.
thank you so much, Anderson, for teaching me all this. I really my, appreciate my it. My pleasure. I'm gonna link Anderson's YouTube channel and Instagram down below, guys. It's, it's a secret YouTube channel, you know that. What? I haven't actually said about it to anyone or any. Did so you should not, I not put this in? No, put it in. Okay. Screw it. These are the first people, the <gasps> yummy nation. Yummy nation. Is that what they're called? No. <laughs> guys, go <laughs> yeah, subscribe to Anderson's secret YouTube channel. Ah! Thank you so much, Anderson, for teaching me Anderson's about mine. British boys and. Guys, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below how I did. I Let think I did know part two in the UK. Imagine I come to the UK. Do you get? Do you know? You don't know what I say at the end of my videos because you don't watch my videos. But that's I, been your girl, Yummy, and I hope Tara. I'm um, hope you're gonna be Yummy next week. No, I say that's it, been Monday, Money Man. That's been what? That's been Tara's Yummy Mondays. No, I say. I say day. it's time to skedaddle. What does that mean? Yeah, time but, to skedaddle means let's get out of here. Yeah, but fine. Time to skedaddle, st skedaddle for us, but not for you. Watch another Tara video. You don't have to skedaddle, but we do. Yeah, ready? One, you want to say it with me? Time to skedaddle. Three, two, one. Time you to don't skedaddle. have to skedaddle, but we do. So watch another Tara video.